<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Tony from Sax Studios. I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my latest tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about professional photo retouching. Um, what a lot of people refer to as airbrushing, that kind of thing. Uh, my method is a little more simple than that and just about anyone can do it. And so let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started. So you can open up the picture you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use this picture of this model here. And the first thing I would suggest is let's zoom in and check for any kind of um, blemishes, anything like that. I didn't see any on the body, really, so we'll go ahead and zoom in on the face. And we just got a couple little things we'd like to get rid of. So let's go ahead and grab the Spot Healing Brush Tool. That's over here on your bar. Yeah. Let's go ahead and remove that mole and we'll clean up this face a little bit here. Now she really doesn't have a whole lot in the way of things that need to be adjusted. So that's good. Uh, if you have more that's no problem. It's really easy to take things out like that and it will fix a whole lot of things. So now that we've gotten rid of all the unwanted dots, pimples, and things like that around the face um, we're going to go ahead and smooth out the face a little bit. So what you want to do using the eyedropper tool, we're going to come over here and grab the eyedropper tool. It's right here if you're not sure, eyedropper. And we're going to find a place on the face that looks fairly good that we want to sample from. So right here is probably good. You can try different ones, whatever you like. And then what we're going to do is go up here to our brush our brush and we want a soft round brush so see what I did there, I clicked the arrow, brought it down, soft round brush and we want to change the brush size down to roughly 50 or so. You can do that with the open and close brackets on your keyboard or by this little slider bar here if you're unsure so let's go with about 50 right now okay so now that we've actually done that, we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. So let's go down here, create new layer. All right, now that we've created a new layer, we're actually ready to start kind of painting in. So we want to go ahead and first change the opacity. Let's go down to about 15% on the brush. As we don't want it to look strange, we want it to look good and you'll kind of see more of what I'm talking about here shortly so we're just going to start painting in the face a little bit and if you find that you don't think it's making that much of a difference you can go ahead and bump it up to 20 percent and try that if you think that's better um, some images you'll notice a bigger difference than others so you just want to go ahead and paint around these areas this actually helps a lot so this might take a few minutes I'm kind of rushing through it a little bit just to kind of give you an idea of what needs to be done but I think you guys can pretty much follow with what I'm doing now I'm just going around the main areas of the face smoothing out the skin as much as possible and so that looks pretty good okay now let's go ahead and zoom out okay. and let me show you something else also if you look down here you'll see the roughness and the hair and the body the blemishes and things you're gonna see a big difference here shortly in the next step so we're gonna move on and smooth the body now and the best way to do that is to duplicate the original layer you just right click and say duplicate layer and we're going to call it surface blur Okay. so now let's make sure we have the surface blur layer highlighted and we're going to go up to filter blur surface blur and we're going to set our radius to 5 and our threshold to 20 now like I said some of these settings you may want to change or alter depending on the smoothness you want the realistic of it um, play with it get what you like for this uh, image I think these are pretty good settings so let's go ahead and choose OK now 
you can see how much a difference the skin is now than it was before. The only problem is now with this we see that the bikini and the hair and the eyes and everything is kind of all blurred and looks weird but we're gonna go ahead and fix that right now. So now that we've applied the surface blur we're gonna go over here and make sure we still have the surface blur layer selected and we're gonna come down here and we're gonna apply a mask. So add a mask layer and then we're gonna hold control and, or command on a Mac and press I to invert the selection. Now everything kinda goes back to the way it was and you can really tell the blemishes and everything. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna make sure we have our brush selected and our white color selected. So when we're using with a mask, when we're using a mask, the white adds, the black takes away. So since we have our mask inverted, we want to add to the skin areas. So we have white selected, choose the brush and size it accordingly however you like it and let's just start going over this and um, you know you can change I'm still at 20 percent opacity in this case you can change it up if you say you go all the way to 100 if you want you'll really start seeing a big difference and just adjust the opacity to how you like it that's the best way I can suggest every picture will be different and just do it the way you prefer and the way you like it because there are many ways to do this and there's no set rule on how it should be done alright so I'm just gonna go ahead and cover all the way down the body and as you can see it's really smoothing out looks really nice big difference from before I hope I didn't burst anyone's bubble, but this is how they do it for Hollywood. That's why everybody looks so perfect. Now I'll give credit where credit is due. There are plenty of beautiful models out there, but you know when you see them in a magazine like this, most of the time this is what's been done. Nothing wrong with it, and it's actually quite amazing to watch, especially if you've never seen it before. I'm just rambling here to kill time while I get this filled in so you can see. I don't want to do just par partial or part of it because uh, I think you'll get more benefit out of it by seeing everything. So now let's take, zoom in and take a look at the skin. You can really see the difference. It's a big difference, big difference. So turn this layer off, turn it back on, off and on. You can see a huge difference here. Alright, so let's go ahead and zoom back out here. Now, let's go to the face a little bit. And we're going to do a little bit there. So let's go ahead and we make sure we have our brush back. We're just going to there go. And you start to see it really smooths out the face and the changes that it makes and of course I'm not doing this perfectly you would want to take a little more care when doing it for real but I'm just giving you the initial idea on what we're doing okay okay so let's make this a little bit smaller Touch up any areas you might have went over. All right, so you can already tell huge difference, huge difference. So let's go ahead and fit to the screen, and you can already see it's big difference there. All right, so we're not actually done yet. Now we need to add a lens blur. And what this is going to do is it's going to make her pop out from the background. And what I mean is this, you'll see. Go ahead and choose the background layer again, and we're going to duplicate it one more time. And this time we're going to call it Lens Blur. Alright, so now 
let's make sure that layer is selected and we're going to go up to filter blur and we want lens blur now over here on the side I've got it chosen um, more accurate uh, you might see faster it really doesn't matter in this case we just want to make sure that um, we have our source set to none uh, blur focal distance is zero not inverted hexagon six our radius is going to be 25 blade curvature zero rotation zero brightness zero threshold 255 noise is zero distribution is uniform and make sure monochromatic is unchecked and that's going to blur everything okay that looks actually pretty good but um, as you can see it blurred her too and we actually only want the background blurred so we're going to do the same thing we did before we're going to go ahead and make sure that layer is selected and we're going to put a mask on it control or command I on a Mac to invert and you see everything comes back and what we're going to do is come over here and make sure we have our white brush selected so we got white brush and we're going to size it up a little bit and we're just going to go over the background and you want to be careful not to get it on the model if at all possible because you don't want things about her to be blurry and just size the brush in and out to get inside the smaller areas here because remember we want her to pop out from the background Okay, that looks pretty good cover the main areas here basically and you can be a little more careful and precise I'm kind of trying to get the point across as easily as possible and if you do go over you can always switch to black and go over those areas to get it back to normal which is what I'll do here because remember black takes away so alright so now uh, it looks good we can end it there there are some actually some more things we can do to make this picture pop a little better so what I would suggest is going to the very top layer just click it okay and we're gonna come down here and we're gonna add an adjustment layer and the first one we're going to do is our levels so let's go ahead and add levels um, that's pretty easy to do so click it and go to adjustment we've got our adjustment layer up and we're going to go to our levels option okay now once we get that set we're just going to make a really subtle change we're going to change this here to 15 and the middle is going to stay at 1.0 and the last is 255 so that's done alright so now let's do this again let's go ahead and click on our background layer and let's duplicate it again alright and let's call this one soft light and uh, you'll see it makes a big difference here so we want to actually take this layer and move it all the way up to the top and now simply change the um, style here to soft light as you can see it gives it more of a sunny thing and you can kinda of go through all the different ones and see what they look like but in this case I think soft light looks best okay now let's go ahead and click back up at the top and let's add another adjustment layer this time let's change the brightness a little bit and we're just making very small subtle changes that really will make the the picture pop a whole lot so now that we have this up we're gonna go brightness and contrast and you should have zero zero values and we're just gonna change the contrast to 10 I know it doesn't make a whole big difference while you're looking at it but overall when we're done there really is some great things about this so 
We can take it one step further and add another adjustment layer for our curves. Now I know a lot of you may not actually use this a whole lot, but this can be very helpful. So let's start with our green. Let's just grab it in the middle and drag it slightly up. Okay, and let's do the same thing with blue. Blue comes up a little bit. Okay. I think that's looking quite nice now. So, now that we've done this, our picture looks a whole lot more professional. And like I said, you can make it more smooth if you like. Do anything you want to do with it. There's a really big difference. You know, so I encourage you to try different things, do what you like. You know, that's the best way to learn. Everyone starts somewhere, and I encourage any requests, leave them in the comments. Check me out over on Facebook, facebook.com slash studios. Leave any requests there. I'm glad to help. Leave any comments, questions. If you have any, I'll be glad to answer them as soon as I can. So I hope this was very helpful. Thanks for stopping by, and have a good day.